Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota. The day after Toyota does the GR Corolla hatch launch, a 300 horsepower car, I'm going to feature one of the most popular trim packages that gives you a lot of premium features without that premium price tag. Behind me is a 2022 Toyota Corolla SE. I'll be right back. ever thought to yourself what is the number one selling car in the history of the world and the history of all cars since the beginning of cars well you're looking at it right here this is the Corolla from Toyota it's been around since sometime in the uh, early 60s in Japan came to the United States around 1966 uh, as of I think it was either 2018 or 2019 37 million units have been sold in this uh, model, which uh, becomes the number one highest selling uh, model in the history of all models out there. One of the reasons why it's so such a big selling vehicle is that it's such a re reliable and affordable vehicle at the same time. That There's so many of these that I've seen that are pushing 20 years or even longer that are still running like a champ. So let's kind of go over this. Uh, this has got that TNGA platform. Again, this had its uh, remake in 2019. It gives you, uh, again, a more aggressive front end. You get those, what I call the angry eyes headlights on it. And then it gives you a little accent lights down at the bottom, which are nice. And then it gives you accent LED lights on there. And nice, uh, bold-looking grill. Comes with the full suite of Toyota Safety Sense, the 2.5 Plus. It gives you adaptive cruise control along with lane trace assistance. It's going to give you a smart stop, pedestrian, cyclist detection, auto-dimming high beams. Let's go up into the windshield here, and you have the same thing. you got a camera system that's going to identify the lanes around, identify people in uh, pedestrians and do those things there um, then we come to the side here now these do come uh, possibly with a sunroof this level does not but XSEs you could get a sunroof on them and they used to make an SE that had a, a sunroof option I haven't seen that for a while so I'm not 100% sure if that's still there but again this one here it doesn't get a uh, basic rim it gives you a nice premium machine polish rim with some black accents in it it, it looks really good here I believe this is 17 inches on that rim there we do have turn signal indicators. Now the key on this one here is not going to be proc 70 key. It's, this is still a, a standard uh, regular key fob with a flip thing there for your key. It's laser cut. And let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. There is no blind spot monitors on this level. Now if you have the XLE or XSEs, they will come with blind spot monitors in them. So anyways all this stuff here so here's the Monroney sticker it does have five star safety up to 40 miles a gallon on this one here this has a 2.0 uh, liter uh, four cylinder engine now the LE gets a 1.8 liter, liter gets only 38 miles a gallon less power 
This one is more efficient and more powerful than the uh, 1.8 liter trying to see, show you this and the wind's blowing on it. Uh, probably one of the features I wouldn't do is like stuff like the uh, keep the price down, that special color. And we do have like a uh, wind chill or yeah, wind chill pearl paint on this there. That's a $425 upgrade. The black badging looks nice. Um, and we do have soft touch dash and uh, we do have the soft text here and uh, nice touches here. It is a, a fabric material. Both seats are going to be manual. There's no power seats in this level. Again, XSE, XLE can get you that. Um, do you have the regular 8-inch infotainment, which is the standard in all, all of them and does have a, a uh, electronic e-brake and uh, brake hold on there. I will go over that once we go inside. Let's go ahead and take a look at our back seat here. Good spacious back seat. Um, definitely enough room for adults to be back here and is a five-seater. Doesn't give you much for comfort though. You're getting uh, basically one bottle holder in your door, a couple in the, in the uh, armrests there and pocket for your cell phone, but no electronics. You have to come out of the uh, center console for that, but it works okay, um, get you by. And, but it's again, price point where we're at. Being that this is the sports edition, we are going to get a little bit of a, um, a rear spoiler on here. And then again, we have the black badging and we do have the uh, air diffusers at the bottom there. Again, more of that honeycomb grill uh, really ties it in. Uh, let's open up the trunk here. You can hold this button for three seconds, pop that trunk. Good size trunk. It does have the cargo um, all weather liner in here and, and that is 60-40 folding. 60 40 folding on there so open up and so you could do bigger things to pass through shark fin is going to support xm radio your apple carplay safety connect we do have our field door on the uh, driver's side here uh, nice body side molding on the bottom give it a little bit more of that sports feel to it there kind of tying everything in given that uh, kind of matches those wheels there that color there let's go ahead and get in the back seat where i was sitting now i'm six foot two now and even so with that seat back i still have a couple inches or so leg room for me to get in here all right coming into the driver's door again we have that injection molding some of that soft text touch there there is some hard plastics up here um, in areas that you're not going to be really using we do have power windows power mirrors power locks um, gauge dimmers and your auto dimming high beam nice leather sta uh, wrap steering wheel there no power seat for the driver but that is a jack system bring that seat up and down so again that's like six way adjustable let's go ahead get inside um, and we'll start her up and here's our startup sequence so that's going to give us some information like our lane departure uh, lane steer assist lane trace assistance uh, digital miles per hour trip information on here uh, we got uh, also part of our Toyota safety sense and then this button here will just you know, if there's something wrong with the vehicle it's going to tell you what's wrong with the vehicle taking a look at the steering wheel here so we have the toggle that controls that digital information center we have for the driver pick it up and hanging up your phone this is where we have our uh, lane trace and, and lane departure alerts the cruise controls adaptive cruise control button there on the bottom here we have our radio push to talk we could do for siri and the toyota system on here also does like google alexa a part of this here so let's take a look at our our infotainment which is the uh, eight inch infotainment on here it's the only size offering they have does have a decent backup camera here just only has the blue lines no predictive yellow lines and it's decent but not like perfectly clear again you're in a value line car so not not going to give you all the features that you see it does have again like map button that you could use with the apple carplay and android auto our audio sources in here so it's going to support um, a variety of sources we have am fm sirius xm you can use usb and bluetooth and also any of the digital music that you bring in through the internet through those apps are also available to you uh, single climate control here temperature range fan speed range uh, off got front defrost rear defrost and heated mirrors your different flows on here eco heat and cool inside outside air um, and an ac on um, does have i forgot to say this it does have paddle shifters it does have a sport mode down here 
trash control off so you can kind of get sporty with it. It does do sequential shifting and sequential, so it'll sh sequentially shift the uh, six gears, even though it is a CVT transmission, we'll mimic having six gears. Then we have our um, our electronic e-brake, so just put it in park, it's going to set it. If I put it in reverse or drive, it will just take it out and then reset itself. Brake hold is a cool button, so once that's activated, you could uh, use that to uh, stop and then you can take your foot off the brake and it won't move until you push the gas pedal again. We do have our primary port down here for uh, plugging into Apple CarPlay in Android Auto. It's not wireless. There is something called a dongle that you can make both of those wireless on glove boxes down there. And then inside here we do have a USB-C. It's hard for me to get back on this. And then one to 12 volt power for uh, extra power to bring back for the rear passengers or another passenger up front. Up on top, we just have a regular rear view mirror. Uh, we have uh, dome lights and reading lights, no LEDs in this, but that's a simple fix for you to put LEDs in inside. And then you have the SOS button. I've gone over that many times, it's like basically OnStar for Toyota. And we have our vanity mirrors that are lit. Um, and then you, this one has a little bit of upgrade. You got the uh, shade extenders there for your sun visors. So the way this one is equipped, um, it is $24,592. Um, if you're uh, not interested in this uh, windshield pearl in the black badge overlays and a couple extra options, you could get this under $24,000 and pretty much get this in about $1,500 more than just the basic LE version and still get the sporty design of this vehicle with the nice rim with the more aggressive looking headlights and front grille the back with the small rear spoiler are all part of this here again um, number one sale in vehicle in the history of all vehicles and there's a reason why this vehicle is so bulletproof they just last and go and go and go here hardly hear problems i see more of them that are super old that could um, already have their own driver's license could go out to drink and vote and they still run really good and, and still still keep on going. Uh, that's the thing that sets a Corolla apart from a lot of the other brands out there. Everything's nice when it's new, but how is it when it's five or ten years older, 100 or 200,000 miles? This vehicle will still be running if you take care of it. Well, thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.